Uh, hey, what's up? So this question is really um, nice. So adjacent elements product. So given an array of integers, find a, the pair of uh, find the pair of adjacent integers or elements, sorry, that has the largest products and retain that product. So this means that uh, uh, for oh, sorry, sorry, uh, adjacent elements mean. Uh, each element next to each other so 3 and 6 are next to, next to each other uh, 6 and minus 2 next to, next to each other uh, minus 2 and minus 5 uh, minus 5 and 7 and 7 and 3 so the maximum product of all of these uh, adjacent elements are 21 which is 7 times 3 so if you think about it or at least my approach was uh, to loop from the start to the length or to the, to the element uh, that is previous to the last element. So loop from the index zero to length minus one in Python, or in other languages it will be uh, length minus two. So and multiply each time the element with the element next to it, and then in the next iteration, might multiply this element with the element next to it, and keep going on until you reach the element uh, this one seven, and multiply it with the element next to it. That's why I didn't uh, I didn't uh, go to the last element so I don't go to and multiply it with the element that is outside the array this will retain an error in uh, Python but in other languages like JavaScript this will retain uh, to not a number I think it's fine but that's why I only I will only loop to this okay so what I will do I'll just retain max so you can say I'm, I am mapping the array of the product of the adjacent elements and finding the max. That's what I am doing. So let's now map the array. So for uh, i in range, I will start from 0 to length the input array minus 1. Come on. I hate typing these. Input array minus 1. Okay. Now what I will do, I will multiply the input array, the current element times the element next to it. So i plus 1. And from that, retain the max, and that should be it. So, run test. Pretty sure other people can do it in less code, uh, but yeah. Maybe if you rename this to array, I mean, it's obviously an input. You don't need to name it input array, but anyway. So, it's fine, it's correct. Uh, thank you.